business man and film producer atlas ramachandran aged 80 breathed his last on sunday following age related ailments he passed away on sunday night at the aster mankul hospital in dubai the immediate reason for death was a heart attack He was admitted to the hospital on Saturday night after he experienced chest pain. M M Ramachandran, popularly known as Atlas Ramachandran, was born on 31 July 1942 in Thrissur. He was the chairman of Atlas Group of Jewelry. Apart from his popularity as businessman, he had won hearts with a few memorable roles in Malayalam cinema. One such role was Coat Nambiar in Srinivasan starrer Arabic Kada movie. Nambiar would not go out without a coat and his campmates in the gulf would mock him for that. He had only one coat. He would wait in the room for them to dry. When invited out of the room for the chit draw, Coat Nambiar says, "Wait, my coat is yet to dry." At last, Nambiar stands naked without his beloved coat. At least Ramachandran's role in Arabic Kada directed by Lal Jos will never be forgotten for sure. The movie portrayed the people who are working tirelessly at Gulf countries. It is believed that Comrade Mukuddin's story of Arabic Kada movie portrays Nambiar, whose story is unknown to people. However, it goes without saying that he is a person who has come from a high position to the working class. When Atlas Ramachandran lost his footing in life, his life became similar to that of Nambiar. He became nothing then. Atlas Ramachandran was the owner of an industrial and commercial empire with a turnover of 3 and 1/2 billion dirhams. The golden history of the boom was recorded by Ramachandran, also known as Muthedatta Ramachandran, who started his business 3 and 1/2 decades ago based in Kuwait. The way he promotes his jewelry line, Janakodigalude Vishwastha Sthapanam, in advertisements as a trusted institution of millions is always remembered. At one time, Atlas Group had more than 50 branches in UAE, Kuwait, and Saudi Arabia. His downfall began when he was unable to repay a debt. The first case was registered in his name after checks of 5 crore dirhams bounced. When the loans were not repaid, he joined 15 banks from which he had taken loans and approached the UAE Central Bank. Atlas Ramachandran was taken into custody by Dubai police in 2015. He was released only after the intervention of central government. 23 banks including Bank of Baroda had filed cases against Ramachandran. It was some years long activities of Ramachandran's wife Indu Ramachandran who fought for responsibility of paying the creditors and the dues of the employees of closed offices. She helped the family behind bars back to life. Anyhow, Indu Ramachandran was waiting for Ramachandran to come out. Atlas Ramachandran was quite confident that he would make a comeback in the field of business as well as in the field of art. He tried to overcome his difficulties by writing his autobiography and finding happiness through poetry. Atlas Ramachandran's demise leaves behind the desire to return to his own Thrissur some day after solving all the problems in his life. Thank you.